What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, shout out to everyone that was a part of the SmackDown live stream reactions uh, uh, yesterday, man. Um, I know Dub and uh, Sir Dance a lot wasn't able to make it, but I appreciate y'all joining me, holding down the fort. Uh, we should, uh, everyone should be available on Monday to stream Monday Night Raw. Um, SmackDown was kind of really middle of the road. Um, the best match of the night was uh, Gunther versus uh, Xavier Woods for the Intercontinental Championship, which I expected it to be pretty good. Uh, there were some solid matches on there. Um, um, the uh, the Viking Raiders or whatnot going against uh, Ricochet and Braun Strowman was a surprisingly entertaining match. The no DQ uh, match between Solo, Sokoa, and Matt Riddle was cool you know they had some cool little spots but you already knew how that was going to end and no stories really got progressed um it was pretty much just middle of the road smackdown not bad not great either not something you just gonna go back and honestly watch again i think they're just on autopilot into the draft and wrestlemania backlash but the most noticeable thing about this week's smackdown wasn't even the matches that was on the show it was a future match at wrestlemania backlash apparently literally out of nowhere they're showing their graphics of you know what matches is going to happen at this year's backlash and out of nowhere and i thought this was like a mistake or something you have a graphic showing omos versus seth rollins now if my screen is glitching sorry about that not sure i'm still trying to fix fix that but yeah the Omos versus Seth Rollins, the graphic for WrestleMania Backlash. Now, I, when I originally saw it on stream, I thought I was tripping. But no, it was a real thing. I'm asking chat, wait a minute. I know me and Dub watched Monday Night Raw. Did they have any interaction? Was there something said? Did, was, did we miss something? And everyone confirmed, no, there was no interaction with these guys. There haven't been any interaction with these guys. So why is this match happening? And then you, you don't even have to think that hard. All you have to really do is think of who's really still in charge. Vince. As soon as I saw that match, out of nowhere, like an RKO, immediately I was like, oh, that's Vince. Only Vince would make a match for a pay-per-view in a couple weeks with no build, no interaction with each other, a thing. Now, I'm sure they're going to have interaction now because they just was put into a match on Monday Night Raw. But you got to also ask yourself, who was wanting to see this match? Tell me, who was actually wanting to see Seth Rollins versus Omos? I didn't even want to see uh, Omos versus Brock. And that was surprisingly better than I've, I would have even imagined. That was actually entertaining for a little bit i was very surprised probably the most entertaining match omos has had on the main roster being dead serious and that was mainly due to brock selling so that's about it but literally who who was clambering for this match can someone tell me anyone can anyone tell me if there was anybody out there that just thought omos seth rollins that's what backlash needs why 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 is that even on the card that does not need to be on the card there's no history there there's no reason why this is happening and there's gonna be some people that defend this this random booking decision like you guys complain too much just sit back and then and, and, and enjoy it what <laughs> no <laughs> no I, I've only enjoyed maybe one Omos match, and that was with Brock Lesnar. And it was like five minutes in and out. Get the fuck up out of here. If anything, I thought they would have ran it back with him, Brock and Omos. Thank God, but I don't know if this is even better. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm honestly trying to put into, I guess, words or really trying to rationalize how anybody could be excited for this match. Some may say, oh, they may steal the show. No, bro. No. Seth Rollins would literally have to carry Omos in this match. 
and not to disrespect the guy, but I'm, I'm just being honest. I he doesn't excite a lot of people in the ring, Devin, especially not me. When I see him, I automatically groan and I don't care. I just don't care. I don't. I don't. He rarely gets any reaction from the crowd. He's beating up jobbers in every city. We don't, I don't care. I just, I know he's a huge, massive individual. That's awesome. That's cool. But I don't care. It, it doesn't impress the average, the, the modern day wrestling fan anymore. Like, oh, you're, you're big and tall. Cool. But can you go out there and wrestle? Not many big and tall individuals can really do that. You know, I mean, their, their body limits them to only so much they can do. And a lot of times you get the a, a good David and Goliath story. But once again, maybe if they built up some feud, okay, maybe. I would care a little bit only because of Seth. But this is literally, here you go, guys. I love Omos, Vince McMahon. I love me some Omos and, and Seth freaking Rollins. He's, he's fantastic, too. Let's put him in the match. And Triple H is like, but you, you sure about that, Vince? Ah, oh, nah, the, the, the people are going to love this. But they've never interacted with each other, Vince. Ah, oh, it don't matter. Who cares about interaction? Put him in a damn match. <laughs> and that was the most noticeable thing on SmackDown. A random match being booked for Backlash. I don't know. I don't care, honestly. I, I don't care for this match. Yeah, I, I don't because I didn't even know I, I I didn't want to see this. This was never in my mind of matches I wanted to see on Backlash this year. So I, I don't, I don't even, I don't, I don't. I'm I'm just confused like anybody else, bro. Honestly. So the real question is, and I'm I'm pretty sure there's gonna be somebody that's going to be a Vince McMahon apologist, a WWE apologist, and excuse this random nonsensical booking decision and say, oh, man, they could steal the show. You guys complain too much. I'm looking forward to the match. Good on you. You are in the minority. But for everyone else that's just as confused as, as I am, comment down below, let me know. Does this make a lick of goddamn sense? Because to me, it makes absolutely no sense. And do you guys honestly think, honestly, that they could put on a good to decent match? A match that people will be like, you know what? We went in not really caring, kind of confused to, damn, that may have been almost match of the mic. Night. Do you think Seth Rollins could get potentially the best match out of Omos at Backlash? Let me know. Because me personally, Seth is great. But Omos, that's a that's a huge mountain to overcome to carry to a good match. I don't know. But uh, I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I am still the undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next week.